Hey guys, it's Ranko Stratic here, and welcome to my second time ever going to Cedar Point. I am beyond excited right now. We are currently in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, and we are actually going to be going to Detroit for a, I have a bowling championship in Detroit, but we have some time to kill today, so I'm going to be going to Cedar Point for the second time in my life, and I am so excited. I cannot wait to get back on Steel Vengeance. And there's my mom. She shout out to her. Shout out to her because she's the one who decided to take me. And I am just beyond excited. I cannot wait to get back on Steel Vengeance. Hopefully get on Dragster and Millennium Force and Maverick and all those amazing rides there. I am so excited. It's supposed to be beautiful outside there. So I'll see you guys when I get to the park. Peace. We have made it. We've made it. It took two hours and 45 minutes from Pennsylvania, but we're here. We have plenty of time to get all of the coasters. Can't wait to get back on Steel Vengeance. This is gonna be probably much better than my last visit too, because it was very rainy and windy and everything was closed. Really hoping to get on Dragster too today, because Dragster was closed the entire time I was there the last time as well. So, along with Millennium Force, I also didn't get to go on Millennium Force because Wind Advisory and everything was shut down. <gasps> there goes Dragster! Dragster just went! Oh my god, Dragster's open! Oh yes, let's go! I'm so excited. See you guys when I get inside the park. What's up guys, we just got to Cedar Point. I am so excited. I have never been so excited for my, in my life. This is gonna be amazing. It's so beautiful outside. Dragster is running, everything is running perfectly. Valraven is open again. Seal Vengeance is probably open too. And I'm just so excited. Like I cannot wait to get back on all these amazing coasters. We have like a good like five, six hours here. So I'm so excited. I'm getting fast lane plus just so I can go on everything so many times. I cannot wait. Let's get into the park guys. We're getting into the park, guys. I'm going right to Dragster because I did not get the credit the last time I was here. So I'm really excited to get that credit. I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to ride Silva a lot today, too. So let's go have a great time. Walking through the main midway of Cedar Point. I'm so happy to be back here. This Raptor. Raptor has like a really short line, surprisingly. Yeah, today is like a really. It's, People are saying it's really dead today, but I'm still, this is awesome. This is a, it's so beautiful outside. Valor even opened back up after the collision. Uh, Dragster's open, and I'm going right to Dragster because I did not get the ride that the last time. So I'll see you guys over at Top Low Dragster. I got, I got myself a fast lane plus, just so I can get on everything. And I'm really excited, there goes Dragster. Alright, so you'll see you guys over at Top Go Jackson. Oh my god, Top Blue Dragster, that is one of the most intense coasters I've ever ridden. I didn't get to go on it last October because it was broken, but I got right on, thank god for Fastlane Plus. That was incredible. I rode second to back row, I got crazy airtime over the top hat. So intense, I love this ride, maybe probably reaches my top five because it's just that awesome. So we're going to head over to Steel Vengeance now. I'm gonna ride that. I'm super excited for Steel Vengeance. So I'll see you guys over there. Oh my god, I'm... Oh, hey, how are you doing? I miss you so much. 
definitely shouldn't get on multiple rides on this bad part right now. I'm going right to Silk Engines. Maverick, I'll, I'll do you after. But, oh. You said there was a big line. Oh, but you Not got your fast thing. Line. Yeah, look at that line. That's a long line. Is it? Yeah, I wonder the, why that one the is. The capacity, because it only holds 16 people per train, that's why. Yeah, but they've it got like four trains. Yeah, going. it doesn't hold many people. Birdies. Look, see, that's oh, when it, it goes into the tunnel and then it launches. Oh, that looks fun. My, yeah, that's an hour wait. Whoa! Oh, I, okay, I'm going to Silver Engines. I got a signed front row, oh my god. I actually got a signed front row, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited, let's do this. Alright guys, so I just got off a steel vengeance in the front row. I got a sign front row, thank god. That was so much better than I remember it. It's so good. Still my number one, without a doubt. It's so great. So it feels so much faster too. We're riding it on like a pretty warm day instead of like a 30 degree weather day in October. So we're gonna go to Maverick. Gonna ride Maverick now and it looks I'm really excited for Maverick because I love Maverick a lot. So I'll see you guys after Maverick. Definitely going for front row. It's great. I'm excited. It's good. Alrighty, guys. So I just got off of Maverick. That's a lot better than I remember it too. Wrote that in the front row because I got a sign from the front row. I'm getting really good luck today. <laughs> that was awesome. It's really great. Love the second launch. The second launch is definitely the best part of the ride. So I'm actually going to go over to do Millennium Force because I missed that credit the last time. So I'm going to go do that. Really excited. See you guys over there. All right, so before Millennium Force, I'm gonna go do Gemini, because I haven't gotten the, uh, the credit yet. Let's go water. So, because I haven't gotten either credit yet, so I'm gonna get on Gemini, and I'm actually kind of excited for it, because it looks pretty fun. So, let's get it. All right, so I'm waiting in line for Millennium Force now. The line's about 15 minutes for fast lane, so I'm actually, I'm pretty excited for this one. I've never been on it. It's gonna be my 75th credit, and I'm really excited. So let's get on this thing whenever the line starts moving because it's taking a little bit so yeah see you guys after this ride so close let me on yeah. alright guys so I just got up from Millennium Force for the first time that was a lot better than I thought it would be not better than Terminator 305, but that was still incredible. Um, it has really killer airtime. It's not forceless, not forceless whatsoever. And I, I would say it's top three in the park. It's pretty good. So I'm probably gonna go to Rougarou now. Definitely gonna get a ride on that too, because I've seen the line was pretty dead. So I'm gonna go to that right now, and I'll see you guys when I get off Rougarou. Alrighty, so Rougarou was mediocre at best. It wasn't that great, but it's a decent floorless coaster. So I'm gonna go do Dragster again, because I'm loving Dragster today. And I'm super excited. I'm gonna try to get front row on Dragster. And if I get front row and if I have a good picture, I'm gonna buy the picture. So today's been a super productive day. I've gotten almost everything done. I just gotta go do the front of the park after Dragster. And then I'll be good. And I've done every single coaster in the park except for the kitty credits. But yeah, it's I'm really excited for Dragster. It's probably top three in the park for me. So let's go do Dragster. I'm really excited. Doing drag doing Dragster again. Decided to go in the front row this time. I'm so excited. Cannot wait for this. 
Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be crazy. I'm really excited. Oh my god guys, I just did dragster in the front row. That was crazy. It's been super reliable today too. It hasn't broken down even once. I'm really surprised. But that was that was crazy. I even bought my picture. So I'll put that right up on the screen right about now. Um today's been an awesome day. We're not even done yet. I'm going to do power tower right now. So I'll see you guys after power tower. All right, power tower was great. That was really fun. I did it on like the shooting upside. So now I'm gonna go do Valorive and it actually just reopened the day after the bump. So I mean, I don't care. I'm just gonna ride it. So I'll be, I'll see you guys after Valorive. After Valorive, I'm gonna go do Raptor. Then after Raptor, I'm gonna go do Gatekeeper. So see you guys then. All right, so Valorive wasn't as good as I remember. I mean, it's better than I remember it but it still wasn't that great. I still like Griffin more, but, I still like Griffin more, but it's still not that great. The best restraints really ruined the experience. And I just tightened on my chest the entire time, so I don't really recommend it. So we're gonna go to Raptor now. I think my mom might, might actually ride Raptor with me. I don't know. She might. Maybe. <laughs> I think you'll like it. If the line's not long. If the line's not long, she'll ride it. I don't see a line, so let's go. All right, so me and, me and my mom just rode Raptor. That was really intense, actually. Really fun. Really fun. Awesome. Ooh. I love the inversions on this ride, too. It's super whippy. The final, like, the helix going downwards, my legs were, like, going numb. Yeah, that was it was crazy. Like, the line for this ride is, like, there's no one here. It's like, we got right on. It was crazy. Like, that's been the case for, like, a lot of the rides here. Seal Vengeance only has, like, a 30-minute wait. It's crazy. So I'm gonna go do Gatekeeper, which is gonna be sadly my last ride of today. But I've gotten on every single coaster here today, except for Blue Street, that's it. But that was awesome. It's been an amazing day, and I'm gonna do, do, go do Gatekeeper for one last ride. So I'll see you guys over there. All right guys, so I just got off of Gatekeeper. That was my last ride here at Cedar Point. It was such a great day. We got on almost most of the coasters. We only missed Wicked Twister and Blue Street. And it was just an awesome day. I love this place so much. And so happy, I was so happy to come back here. Steel Vengeance was amazing as always. Still my number one. Dragster I finally got on today, which was amazing. Top three in the park by far. Maverick was always good. Millennium Force was great. Uh, Millennium Force was good. I just I don't like it as much as Intimidator 305. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.